Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will talk about the exist operator in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that what is the exist operator and how to use it in SQL Server. So the exist operator is used to check the existence of records in a subquery. The exist operator will return true if a subquery returns at least one matching record, otherwise it returns the false value. So without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. So I got a SQL Server instance here and in the school database I got two tables the STG employees table and the employees table which is our final table. So in real life scenarios or in majority of the projects in almost all the projects uh, sometimes you need to check like if you have two tables so you need to see like what are the records those exist in both the tables okay. So suppose I have STG employees table and I want to check like what are the records from the STG employees those exist in the employees table okay so you need to just uh, check the common records between two tables so to achieve this particular thing we have several options in SQL server like we can use the inner join we can use the inquiry and we can use the exist operator as well so there are three possible ways that I am aware right now and the fastest method to check if a record exists from one table to another table is the exist operator okay this is fastest because when you use the exist keyword so SQL server does not have to perform a full row by row join instead it can look through the records until it finds the first match and stop right there and as soon as there is a match so it will return a true value and it won't go further okay so let me show you like what I'm talking about so suppose there are two tables and I just want to see like what are the records from STG employees those exist in the employees table as well so because there is very few records so we can check like we have the record number 1, 9 and 10 available in the second table but if you see the 9 record is available multiple times here in the second table okay so first of all let me just show you like how you can check the matching records between two tables using the inner join and then I will show you the differences between the inner join and the in keyword and the exist keyword and why the exist operator is better I mean all these three options okay so to write the first query like the inner join query I can write this one select star from STG employees and I can call it as a okay and I will select all data from a dot star inner join the second table which is the employees table I can copy this one and I can call it as B on A dot employee ID equal to B dot employee ID okay so if I execute this particular query so this is returning the duplicate data although I am selecting the data from the STG employees but because this uh, employee number 9 record this is uh, you know present multiple times in the se second table this table so that's why the in our final query the data is coming as duplicate okay. so four records are coming in our final result set although in the source table only three records are there because there is no duplicate records in the source query so if you want to get only the distinct records then you need to append a distinct keyword here okay only then you will find the uh, exact data that you wanted you know the three records okay so this is how the inner query will work that it will actually match all the records from the source query with all the records in the destination query so this will be a bit slower as compared to the exist keyword okay so this was the method number one now if you talk about the method number two so in the method number two what we will do we will use the in keyword so we can write like select distinct I can remove this distinct from here because this won't return the duplicate data select star from STG employees A where employee ID in and then we can select the employee ID from the second table so I can write like select uh, from employees and I can write like employee ID okay so this is the second method like you can if you want to check like what are the records from first table that exists in the second table and if you do not want the data from the second table then you can write this second option you know the second method so this will return you the same records like the three records and uh, in the first query it will return you the three records if you are using the distinct keyword okay so this is the second approach to check like what are the records those are common between both the tables like which exists in the first table 
and the second table so we are selecting the records from first table those exist in the second table now how we can achieve the same thing using the exist keyword which is the fastest among all these three options you know because i'm working on sql server for last 15 years and i have used the all these three queries on the millions of records like we have hundreds of millions of records in the second table or in the first table so the exist keyword is the fastest among all these three options you know so how we will use the exist keyword so we will select the data from the first table i can copy the query from here like select a dot star from the stg employees a where exist so we can write the exist operator and now inside the sub query or uh, we will select the employee id from the employees table okay uh, where a dot employee id equal to employees dot employee id okay this is how it will work okay so if i execute this particular query so what we are doing in the sub query we are selecting the employee id from here okay instead of the employee id you can just select one as well because it will return the value as true you know if the data will match between the employees table and the stg employees table on the employee id okay so it will return you the matching records between both the tables so if i execute this query then this will return the three records as well and this is the fastest method okay uh, as compared for example as compared to this first option or second option because in the first option if you want to use the distinct then it will return the four records so it is trying to find all the matching records in the second table uh, but the exist uh, query that this will stop as soon as it find the first match for a particular employee id like the employee id 9 okay so this is how you can use the exist keyword okay so this was one of the way of using the exist keyword in sql server the exist keyword can also be used to check if a particular table exists or not if a particular for example database exists or not if a particular index exists or not if a particular record exists or not if a particular column exists or not so you can use the exist operator for all these things okay so maybe i can just uh, share you the couple of options like how we can use the exist keyword so um, suppose uh, you want to create a table you want to prepare some like deployment script or maybe you are creating an ssis package so you want that when the ssis package will run so first it should check for the existence of a table for example if a table exists or not and in case if the table exists then we can truncate the table maybe and if the table does not exist then we should create the table okay so this is our requirement so we can achieve this using this particular option like we can select the table name from the information schema dot tables where the table schema is dbo and then we can give the table name so suppose i want to check like if the employee one table exists or not so i can print the value like table exist okay in case if it, this will be true otherwise i will return the value as table does not exist okay exist okay so now what will happen that if i will execute this particular query then right now i think uh, we don't have the employee one table so it will show the value like table does not exist because we don't have this particular table right now you know employee one okay so maybe i can just uh, like show you like if i will try to select the data from this particular table then it will throw an error because this table does not exist so you can see that invalid object name employee one now we have the employees table here in the database so if i remove the employee one and if i try to execute this particular query now so this will show the message like table exist because the table is actually exist okay so now suppose if you want that if the table exists then you want to truncate the table so we can just put the code here like truncate table employees okay and for example if table does not exist then we can just create the table like create table employees okay and then the we can write like all the code here like employee id uh, integer you know whatever is the uh, code you can write it here okay so this is how it works with the tables and similarly if you want to check like if a particular database exists or not so how we can do that uh, i actually written the query here and i can copy this one and paste it here okay so if you want to check like if a database exists or not so same thing you can do here like uh, if exists select star from sys dot sys databases where name is equal to school 50 so suppose before the creation of a database if you want to check whether a database exists or not so if a database exists then we won't create the database 
and in case the database does not exist then we will create the database okay so suppose if i want to do this particular thing then what i can do if exist then i can print a message like uh, database exist okay else create database and i can give the database name like school 15 so let me execute this one so this command executed successfully it means that it created a database school 50 here as of now i don't have the database school 50 here if i refresh this one so now you will find a new database here and now if second time if i will execute the same query then it will show the message like database exist okay so this way you can check if a database already exists or not okay now the third scenario where i use it a lot is that suppose if i want to uh, check like if an index exists on a table or not so we can use this particular query to check the indexes so suppose if indexes does not exist then we can create the indexes and in case if the indexes exist then we can just ignore that particular thing so suppose if i want to check on the employees table if an index exists or not so i can check it like sp underscore help index and the table name okay so right now an employee id index exists now suppose if i want to create an index on another column okay so let me check like what are the different columns so suppose if i want to create an index on the email column okay so how i can do that i can just add the code here ix underscore email so if index exists then maybe we can just print a uh, message like uh, index exist and in the else we can actually create the index like create index ix underscore email on employees and the column name is the email okay so this is the code so it will check the index if an index exists then it will print the message otherwise it will create the index so the process ran fine it means that it actually created an index okay now if you will try to read on the this query so this will show you the an extra index that i just created ix underscore email now if you will execute the same query again then this will show the message that index exist exist keyword this is very uh, useful especially in terms of ssis because uh, we normally write the code like for creating the table creating the indexes so with the help of the exist keyword the process won't fail even if you will rerun the same sql query multiple times yeah, so i think that's it for today's video and i will share all the script the create table statement for the both the tables and all the sql queries that i used here so you can download them from the link in the description of the video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much